Okay, I'm making this video in order to show you how to uh, do the lab data and calculations for this Gatorade lab. First thing you're going to need to do is uh, figure out the concentrations of your different species. So for the stock solution, um, I told you to put about 3 grams of powder in 10 milliliters of solution total. Now, if you had used those, the way you get your concentration is you take the mass, the 3 grams, and divide by the volume. And so that's going to give you a concentration of 0 0.3. Now, your concentrations will be a little bit different if you use different amounts. So just plug in your amounts. So if you have 0.27 and 11 milliliters, just plug those in and get whatever it is. But it will be close to 0.3. For all the other solutions, um, you cut your stock in half. And so if your stock solution was like mine and was 0.3, then solution A would have a concentration of 0.15. Cutting that in half again for B was 0.075. And remember, the reason why they're cut in half like this each time is that you took 3 milliliters of your stock solution and you added 3 milliliters of water, and that's how you got A. And then you take 3 milliliters of A, and you add 3 milliliters of water, and that's how you get B. So because you're diluting it with as, to twice the amount with water every time you're cutting the solution in half. Um, so again, C, I'll just take and cut that in half, so 0 0.0325, um, which I'll just round to 0 0.033. Cut that in half again, 0 0.017 about. Cut that in half again, 0. 009, or we'll go with 85. Okay, so approximate values. And then for water, your concentration is going to be zero. And then Gatorade, the concentration is unknown. So we're, that's the whole point of the lab is to try to figure it out. Okay, next thing is how you get these intensities. For that, you need to open up the image. And so you want to use this. A program called Image J, so you should be able to find a shortcut to it on the desktop um, of my computer. Um, otherwise, it, you're off from the start menu. Okay, so just like any other program, file open, you need to find it um, wherever it's been saved. Uh, and of course, I gotta remember where I saved it. All right, so there's my picture. So again, I have on the far left, it goes stock, A, B, C, D, E, water. Um, that's the Gatorade powder, and I actually used um, bottled Gatorade. Or actually, maybe that's the bottled Gatorade. I used two different um, types of Gatorade when I did my picture. So the, what you do is you're going to use um, this tool, this rectangular um, selection tool to get select a box out of one sample and you don't want to get any of the walls so it's just somewhere from the middle of the sample and then you're going to go to plugins um, analyze and then measure RGB and what it does is it gives you the mean value or the average value for the intensity of the red the intensity of the green and the intensity of the blue so 164 180 and 9. So I'm just going to go back and write those in here. So again, red intensity was at 164, green is at 180, and blue is at 9. Okay, then I'm going to go and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take and I'm going to move my box. Try to keep your box the same size um, by clicking the middle. Just drag it onto the next sample. And again, go plugins, analyze. Measure RGB, and it will give you a new set of values. So now you can see um, my red value here is 164 still. Uh, my green value is still about 180. And now my blue value is about 30. Okay, So you don't expect the red and the green intensity to change much because something that's yellow is letting red and green light through. Um, and it's absorbing blue. So the more yellow it is, the more blue gets absorbed. 
and the less yellow it is, the less blue gets absorbed. Okay, I'm going to go down and I'm going to just skip over to my water now. So you'll be doing the rest, of course. Um, I just for purposes of showing you what it is you need to do, I'm just going to skip to the water. Okay. So again, go plugins, analyze, measure RGB, and now I see for my water, my red is 171. You know it's letting a little bit more red through because that number's higher. Uh, my green is 182, and the blue is 130. All right. Now, water is the least yellow thing I have, so that's the highest the blue intensity is going to get. Okay. Uh, so now you're going to do the same thing for all your rest of your samples and for your Gatorade, and then you have to do something with those numbers. The next thing you have to do is you need to put in your concentrations here. So that was, again, 0.3 was my stock solution. Uh, 0 0.15 was A, and so on and so on. And water down here would be 0. And to fill in this other column, this absorption column, what I'm going to do is I have to figure out um, what, what the absorption of, let me make this a little wider, what the absorption of the species is. So the formula for that is, and it should be on your lab sheet, the formula for absorption is that it equals negative 1 times the log of the intensity of the, of the color divided by the largest value of intensity. And that's the value that you probably will be getting from water will be your largest. So for the case of... Uh, of this 0 0.3 concentration, I'm going to say that this equals negative 1 times the log. And then I'm going to go back and look at my intensities. So the in And I want to use blue intensity because that's the one that's actually changing. So I had you measure the red and green, but actually for something that's yellow, the only one that matters is blue. So for blue intensity, I'm going to say that this equals negative 1 times the log of 9 divided by. And then I go and look at what was my greatest value. My greatest value was 130. So 9 divided by 130, and then I'm just going to pull up a calculator and forget what this is. Alright, so first I'm going to take 9 divided by 130. And then I'm going to take the log of that number. So here's the log button on this calculator. So the log is negative 1.159, and I'm going to take negative 1 times that. So I get 1.159. When you get down to water, water will equal negative 1 times the log of its intensity. Its intensity was 130. The greatest intensity was water's intensity at 130. And so the log of 1 is 0. So the absorbance of the water is 0. And that's we do that on purpose because we want to say that the water is not absorbing anything. Okay? So once you have all this data, what you're going to do is you're going to make a graph. So I'm going to go uh, and I'm just going to kind of make up a graph. So you're going to plot out all your points. So you're going to get a piece of graph paper. And on one side of your graph, you're going to put on the bottom, you're going to put the concentration. On the side, you're going to put the absorbance that you just figured out. And then you're going to plot your points. So at water, zero concentration, by definition, you'll have zero absorbance. So I'll put a point at zero, zero. And then um, for my concentration of 0.3, and again, I'm putting numbers on here, uh, my absorbance is 1 point something, so you know, you'll have to figure out the scale. So as you plot all your different points, you'll kind of find that they should make more or less a line, but not a perfect line, of course. So then you're going to go in and you're going to 
just kind of eyeball what you think the best fitting line is to all your data points. Okay, so when you put in a best fit line, you want to have just as many points above the line as below the line. So I've got three below and three above. Okay, and then there you have your line. So now the way you get your Gatorade concentration is you go back to your data. And so for your Gatorade, you'll have figured out some absorbance. So let me pretend like the absorbance of my Gatorade was 0.54. Oops, forgot the decimal. So what I would do is I would go to my graph. Okay. I would go and find where 0.54 was on my graph. And I would from there, whoop, I probably better actually draw a straight line. From there, I would say, okay, so I know the absorbance of my Gatorade is 0.54. So I read over where 0.54 hits my best fit line, and then I would read down. And whatever concentration I'm at on my graph, that's the concentration of the Gatorade. Okay? So hopefully this gives you um, all the hints you need to get this lab done successfully.